everyone! Today we're going to make a customized My Little Pony that looks like Disgust from Inside Out. The first thing we have to do is cut off all the pony's hair. And remove the eyes and cutie mark with acetone or nail polish remover. Now, using air dry clay, we'll make a thick snake shape and form it on the back of the pony for the bottom of the dress. Then we'll make a smaller snake shape and press it along the edge of the skirt to give it a finished look and an even edge. For the top of the dress, take two snake shapes and press them on the front of the pony so that it forms a v-neck. Then fill in any gaps with small pieces of clay. Now we'll use a thin snake shape to define the neckline. And let it dry. After it's dry, you can smooth out any imperfections with small pieces of clay. We're also going to outline the sleeves with thin snakes of clay to give the dress a cleaner edge. Disgust wears a dark pink scarf, so we'll roll another snake shape, flatten the ends, and place it around the pony's neck. For Disgust's hair, we'll make flat triangle shapes and place them around the pony's head. For the tail, we'll form many snake shapes together and place them on the back end of the pony. If your pony has clay in places you don't want it to be, then you can use a wet cloth and it comes off really easily. I'm just using a scrap piece of felt here. Now it's time to paint. We'll start by using a light green color for the skin tone. And after several coats, she'll be a solid green. For her hair, I'm using Emerald Green Extreme Glitter by Folk Art. The color looks very pale at first, but it'll be darker when it dries. And after a few coats, it will be a deep, rich green. We'll also paint the tail the same color. For Disgust's dress, we'll use a medium green. And a darker green for her leggings. For the floral design on her dress, we'll use light teal and light green. And since Disgust's scarf is sparkly like her hair, we'll paint it with Fuchsia Extreme Glitter Paint. And I totally forgot about her shoes, which match the scarf. So use a red paint for a base coat and paint it around the bottom of the back legs so that when we use the glitter paint, it'll look like fuchsia instead of pink glitter over green paint. For the cutie mark, we're going to make a small stalk of broccoli in dark green and we'll give it some definition with a black marker. For Disgust's eyes, we'll try to make them look like she's, well, disgusted. Start by filling in the bottom part of the eye indents with white. And while that's drying, give her pink lips. Using dark green will give her disapproving eyebrows. We'll make one eye look like she's squinting. To do this, we'll use the same light green that we used for her skin tone and cover the bottom part of the eye. Then round out the other eye with white to make it look whiter in contrast. 
Then we'll give her bright green eyes. And outline the bottom of the lids with dark green. For the top of her lid, we'll use black and then give her black pupils. Now for her eyelashes. I use the wire from some miniature fabric flowers, then I wrap them around each other and painted them with glittery green paint. Next, I cut them down to size and glued them on. And that's it! Now you have a custom My Little Pony that looks like disgust from inside out. Today we're going to turn this Barbie baby into Dumbo. It's going to be a little baby elephant. So let's get started. First, I painted the whole baby white. I used this as a primer coat to make sure when I painted the baby gray, the paint would stick and it wouldn't take as many coats. Then I went ahead and painted the baby gray. Then I painted on the eyes. I was trying to make the eyes look like Dumbo's in the 1940s movie, as opposed to the Dumbo in the new movie that's coming out in March. I used a piece of gray felt and drew the shape of the ears. Then I cut them out. Then I rolled up a piece of felt and used that for Dumbo's nose. And I glued the pieces onto the baby. I fashioned some pieces of yellow felt into Dumbo's hat. Then I glued it onto the baby's head. I felt like the ears were looking a little bit too gray and I wanted to show the pink inside of the ears. So I cut smaller ear shapes out of pink fabric and glued them inside the ears. To make Dumbo's collar, I used a piece of ruffly red ribbon. I glued on some yellow rickrack and then I glued it on the elephant. 
And that's it. Now we have a cute little Barbie baby elephant that looks like Dumbo. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe. See you next time. Have a great day.